Hello? Hi. All right, so I guess we should say that um, we're about to read our results, and I'm expecting that they shall be the same as each oh, other's. Yeah. <laughs> Unless there's more family secrets. I hadn't, I hadn't even considered the possibility that they would be different results. From what we know, we are half Lebanese, half white, like Western European probably, right? Maybe some uh, French. Yeah, so dad's side of the family uh, we know is uh, Lebanese and Syrian, right? Um, I think it was, I'm going to be really embarrassed if this is wrong, but I'm pretty sure Siti was Syrian. Siti's family was Syrian and uh, Jiti's family was Lebanese. I think that they were Lebanese but living in Syria. Ah, okay. All but right. we'll have to double check that. Distinction? Well, we'll find out soon, I suppose. Yeah, and then mom's side of the family has always been like, uh, white? Just white, yeah, like French, <laughs> Scottish maybe, English. Uh, yeah, I always kind of assumed British Isles. I didn't. Uh, I didn't really know about any French, um, but who knows, right? I guess we're we're about to find out. So I'm excited to be like, Mom, what are you? And then I'm expecting just to be like, Yeah, Dad, we knew that. I I just I feel like there's gonna be something weird in Dad's results. Uh, it's gonna be small, but it'll be maybe it'll be like, 45, 45, and then like you know, 2% from like 10 countries we just had no idea about. I hope it's a country I've never heard of. <laughs> how, how good is your geography? <laughs> it's not good, so chances are high. Great news, blah blah blah, etc. DNA is ready. And then I click the button that says, see my results. Me too. Um, okay, so obviously the first thing I want to do here, because this is what we talked about, was jump straight into the genetic ancestry card. Yeah. But I, I noticed that there's a DNA matches card as well. DNA matches, yes. People, so, photos of people I don't recognize. Yeah, mine says 224 fourth cousins. I have 314th. That's weird. Yeah. <laughs> we can come back to these hundreds of fourth cousins later. Um, there's a button at the bottom that says view your genetic ancestry. So let's just click that. Right, so I've got 10 ethnicities. Yeah and two genetic communities trademark. Ethnicity estimates. Um, it looks like 66% Europe. I'm 63, Eddie. <gasps> and 32% West Asia, which is the Middle East. I'm 36% West Asia and less than 1% Africa. I was 2% Africa. Why are we so different? I guess this, this must be the it's not completely, you know, it's not 100% accurate. Yeah, some kind of like uh, confidence. Uh, it would be cool if I did twins. We should set, we should give, meet, find some twins and have them send in there. Mm. Or even just do yourself twice. Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, okay, so this is something that's kind of interesting to me. Um, oh, hang on, Cosette's in the way. Cosette? Okay, so this is interesting to me. If I go down to West Asia, I have two regions. One is the Caucasus, which is like Armenia, Azerbaijan, Georgia, Iran, Iraq, Syria, and Turkey. Yep, that's what I have. Uh, that's 21%. Me, same, uh, same thing. And then the Middle East uh, is 11%, and that includes uh, like also Syria, also Iraq, but also Saudi Arabia, Jordan, Oman, Yemen, the UAE, Lebanon, and Israel. Yep, yeah, I'm 15% that to your 11 how come we're not 50? Uh, I don't know. Oh, interesting. My, my range is 4 to 19%. If you click on those, yeah. then you actually, you actually get a range. And my range on Caucasus is 11 to 31%. I think that's like the margin of error. They're like not sure. Oh, okay. My range for Caucasus is 14 to 29%. Mm -hmm. And my Middle Eastern range is 8 to 22%. You're between 8 and 22%. Middle Eastern, so we're telling you you're 15. Yeah, and my range is very much the same as yours. All right, so that jives, that makes sense. I thought it would be higher. Yeah, I mean, it's an interesting question because Syria is listed in both, right? Like, in the, it's in the Middle East and it's in the Caucasus. Oh, you're right, you're right. But that still raises an interesting question about why, like, why we're more European than West Asian. 
Yeah, that is a good question. Okay, so um, let's go on to Europe. So Great Britain, as I suspected, that's the main one for me, 28%. 24 for me. That includes England, Scotland, Wales. Here's a bit of a surprise. Italy and Greece, 23%. Ooh, I'm only 13. Hmm, my range is 8 to 37. That's a huge range. My range is 0 to 28. Huh. <laughs> well, there's still a lot of overlap there, but interesting. How much did you say you had for Greece? 13 for Italy, Greece. 13. I mean, that's still a lot. It's still more than I would have guessed. Yeah, I didn't. That seems like, you know, less white than I was thinking from mom's side. Well, okay, so here's, here's the thing. We're assuming that that comes from mom's side. But... Oh, right. Like, historically, the Mediterranean is connected to the Middle East, so maybe that's actually part of Dad's family. So many questions! Uh, I got 10% Iberian Peninsula, which is like Spain. You got Spain? No fair. I, I, don't, I got like 2%. I had to go into the low confidence region to get Spain. I'm between 0 and 21% Iberian Peninsula. Uh, I'm 0 to 10% Iberian. Wow, okay. And then Ireland! Yeah, I got a bit of Ireland in there too, but again, that's the low confidence. It's like zero to 13%. I'm five. I'm like a confident 5%. My range is zero to 15, but they showed it to me as like a confident number. Yeah, that must be the threshold. Mine, mine is zero to 13% Ireland. So we're, we're actually very close there. My low confidence areas for Europe are European Jewish, 5%, Europe East, 3%, Europe West, 2%, and less than 1%, Scandinavian. I always knew I was tall and blonde. <laughs> okay, I, Scandinavia is actually in my high probability. Uh, it's 0 to 18%, but it, it, I guess, averages out at 6 So that that was like my number three. It's like, for me, it's Great Britain, uh, Italy and Greece, and Scandinavia. Oh, cool. Maybe that's why we love Ikea so much. And that definitely... Uh, makes a lot of sense oh yeah so and you've got like this less than one percent african uh thing yeah north african is my less than one percent which is morocco western sahara algeria libya yeah so i've got about the same i've got two percent my range is uh, zero to five um but that that's also putting me in the mind of like the mediterranean right um connection so like it's it's possible that that's also part of dad's ancestry um, and now, now I'm kind of wondering like how far back this goes, like what's their baseline? I, it just says ethnicity and estimate thousands of years ago. <laughs> oh, so there's a little, um, there's like a little question mark thing that I just clicked. Your ethnicity estimate shows where your ancestors came from hundreds to thousands of years ago. We calculate it by comparing your DNA to the DNA of a reference panel of people with deep roots to specific places around the world. And then a disclaimer about how you can get updated results as science gets better. Oh, that's kind of cool. Prepay? We don't have to pay again? I don't know. It says learn more. You can learn more if you click there. Just have to wait 20 years for more science? Yeah. But what I guess what I'm getting from this is that like the estimates are for... Uh, your genetic roots going back possibly thousands of years, um, which, you know, would make sense because like this whole uh, Italy, Greece, I mean, the whole European Middle Eastern region has been connected for much longer than that. So um, there's another option. So at the bottom of the page, you see like overview, ethnicity regions and genetic communities. Yeah, are my genetic community connection very likely says Syrian Lebanese. Mm -hmm, I got that too. And then I also got Scots in Central Scotland, Ulster, and Ireland. I think mine is just showing me Lebanese, Syrian. I don't have... What was the other one? Mine was uh, Scots. I wonder if my European wasn't as strong enough in that part as yours was. Cool. Okay, is there more? What else? Is that it? Uh, I think that might be it. That was cool. Yeah, definitely. I think, I think Dad will like this. We're going to have to investigate all our ancestors now. Our fourth cousins. Okay, cool. Well, I guess that's it. So, final thoughts. Mostly, I thought there'd be a bit higher uh, Middle Eastern. Okay, if we add together Caucasus and Middle Eastern, then it's 36%. Plus, Italy, Greece is 49%. Plus, Iberian, 59%. <laughs> We're basically the Roman Empire. <laughs> okay, should we say something in the videos? Like... Something straight to dad? 
Happy birthday, Dad. I hope you enjoy this weird gift. Okay, bye. bye. I think the biggest surprise is the Italy Greece part. That's strong. That's like eight to thirty-seven percent. So that's not nothing. View all DNA matches. Uh, I do have you on here. I don't know about. Yep, I have you. Confidence extremely high that we are related. Whoa, we got an O'Sullivan. Hey, that must be our Irish side. <laughs>